guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk about 10 rare champions that are definitely not food. Don't make the mistake of trashing these champions, using these champions as food to rank up another champion, when this champion sometimes might even be better than that champion that you sacrificed them for. So today, we're going to exclude the starting champions. I think you guys know about the starting champions in the game, uh, especially Kale. They're very, very worthwhile. Aethel is my personal second favorite, followed by kind of Galek and Elaine. Uh, and then we're not going to talk about Void Champions, because Void Champions, as you can see here, we have one more to pull, uh, are a little bit tougher to get. Well, they're a lot tougher to get, so we're going to focus on champions that you might actually pull from regular Ancient Shards, or even Mystery Shards, and talk about those ones. Actually, we have one more here. Those champions that you guys should not use. So let's go ahead and start things out here as we pull more rares uh, from Draconis. Really good champion, by the way. Uh, one of my favorite Avoid rare champions. Let's go ahead and start out with uh, the newest champion champion that we have on today's list and that is going to be an ogren tribe champ and here he is boom rough stone so rough stone is actually a pretty cool champion guys very low defense take that into consideration his hp isn't bad and his attack is pretty solid as well as his speed too on his a1 round up he has an aoe attack already making him a viable spider champion for you guys on the a2 attacks one enemy decreased targets max hp by 15 percent of the damage inflicted is going to make him a kind of useful champion for scarab king inside doom tower and then his a3 attack one enemy Enemy on a three turn cooldown in slobbering rush sounds like a fun ability to be hit with uh has a 50 percent chance or excuse me will ignore 50 percent of targets defense and check this out has a 50 percent chance to grant an extra turn if the attack is critical this guy is pretty solid he's not a game changing champion but he's a champion that a lot of people can get utility from rough stone is a guy to keep an eye out for i love the aoe and the a1 i love the decreased targets max hp or at least i like it and I love the ignore defense and an extra turn. After that extra turn on three turn cooldown, you can go right into another AoE attack. Very, very cool champion in Rough Stone. Now let's cover probably the most OG and obvious champion on this list. You do not want to feed Apothecary, especially if you don't have one already. He has a great heal on a two turn cooldown. 35% heal that can be critical, which is actually, you need crit rate in order for this critical heal to actually go off. A lot of kind of confusion about that and also his speed ability bonus speed on three turn cooldown 30 percent increased speed with the 15 percent turn meter fill in a three hitter on his a1 apothecary in my mind is a second best rare champion inside the entire game behind cold heart who is not on today's list because well she's void Moving right along here, we have a farmable champion for you guys. I've always been a big fan of Diabolist. Diabolist is a farmable campaign champion, and she's really solid. Especially if you don't have Apothecary and you want a speed champion, you can go ahead and farm her while you're waiting to get lucky and pull your Apothecary. She has a sleep on her A1, whatever. On her A2, an AoE attack with the increased speed on all allies, 30% increased speed on a three-turn cooldown. And then she has positive charge, which reduces the turn meter of enemies while increasing the turn meter of all allies. So Diabolus can put out some decent damage. She's not known to be a nuker, but she can, because this is an AoE attack and the increased speed, she has a, a different sort of utility as opposed to a, a straight up support champion like Apothecary. And she's very fast with a 110 speed, which is exactly what we want to see on this champion. Moving right along, we'll go to the Barbarians next, guys. There's two Barbarians, actually make it three Barbarians on today's list. And guess what? one of them is farmable as well it's war maiden i think uh stage nine i think stage eight or nine of the campaign you guys can get yourselves a war maiden the first thing i did on my free to play account or maybe the you know 10th thing i did after i actually got to the uh to this stage in campaign was focus on getting war maiden war maiden has a uh, a decently hard hitting a2 but really uh, you know, one thing you need to know about War Maiden is she's one of the only uh, rare champions in the entire game who has a three turn cooldown with decreased defense. She's the only rare champion in the game that has at a hundred percent land rate. The other one with a three turn cooldown being Dagger, and I believe that's an eighty percent uh, land rate. Uh, but she is a Void Affinity champion, so she won't make today's list. But a three turn cooldown, decreased defense, just a fundamental champion to have, especially in the early game of Raid Shadow legends great in dragon great in uh, early arena as well and great in dungeons so war maiden number two marked 
kind of the opposite of War Maiden. She has the uh, Totemic Power. Really good ability on a three turn cooldown. Block a debuff's buff for one turn on all allies. In the big version of increased defense on all allies for two turns, I want to say that the only other rare champion that has this on a three turn cooldown is Doom Screech, and he is, you guessed it, another Void uh, Affinity Champion. So Marked is an easier champion to get with that strong, strong protection on the A3. She also has an AoE attack with decreased accuracy on a three turn cooldown on Punishment of Gods on her A2. I think marked as a very, very uh, usable support champion inside the game. The last one is Soulbound Bowyer. She has an AoE on her A1 as well. Also, on all of her abilities, she has an extra 25% chance of inflicting a critical hit, so you can try to get crit uh, damage gauntlets on her and just build your crit rate via substats on all the other artifacts uh, to 75% or to 70%, assuming you're going to pick up that extra 5 on her masteries. So again, on Infused Arrow, her A2 will ignore 75% of the target Target's defense, very, very good. And then on a four turn cooldown, has a uh, uh, the same critical hit chance, and then 75% chance, uh, make it 100 when booked, of fully dep uh, depleting the target's turn meter. Very, very, very good ability here. Let's keep it moving here, guys. No time to waste as we go down to dwarves. Talk about one of my favorite dwarves added to the game uh, in the last year. It's Avir the Alchmage. Avir the Alchmage has a, uh, a pretty nice AoE attack here on a three turn cooldown with decreased attack and decreased speed uh, under poison debuffs. And on his Vitalizing Potions, on his A3, fills a turn meter of all allies by 15% and heals all allies by 15% of this champion's max HP. It, you know, nice base stats on this champion, solid defense, solid speed, solid HP for a rare champion especially, and that HP is what you want to build so you have more powerful heal here on your A3. So build this dude to be fast and with a lot of HP, and you'll be surprised at the amount of support he can bring to the team. He also does a sneaky amount of damage with this AoE attack on a 3 turn cooldown so Avir the Alchemage is a pretty solid champ. Next up is going to be an undead horde champion. She was added to the game I think towards the end of 20... 19? It's Frozen Banshee. Frozen Banshee, the only rare champion, I believe, still at this point, to have Poison Sensitivity. One of the only champions in the game to have Poison Sensitivity. A very, very good debuff for Dragon and for especially Clan Boss. A lot of people who are in the mid-game, in the late game, use Frozen Banshee just for that Poison Sensitivity. She also has a Poison on the A1 uh, if the target is under Poison Sensitivity, but that is a strong version of Poison as well. So a great Poison poison layer and has that very valuable poison sensitivity debuff also pretty good uh, base defense for a rare champion considering you're going to be using her almost exclusively in clan boss uh next up is going to be Let's go with another one of my faves here. It is Gnarlhorn. So Gnarlhorn, guys, is a Skinwalker champion. Where is this dude? He looks very gnarly. I think it's this guy. Here we go. So Gnarlhorn, very, very solid champion because uh, an incredible ability for a rare champion is an AoE Provoke on a three-turn cooldown. Also places increased defense on him to help him stay alive. Also, speaking of helping him stay alive, on a three-turn cooldown, unkillable buff on this champion for two turns. Let me say that again. He is an AoE Provoke, so everybody's going to be attacking him. And then two out of every three turns, he'll be unkillable as well. A great tank for you guys to consider. Certainly not a champion, especially for progression, uh, that you want to be using as food in the game. And last but not least, 10th on the list. There's a lot of other good rare champions, by the way. Certainly uh, just including 10 of my personal favorites. It is Metal Shaper. Metal Shaper saw a big boost in value after Doom Tower because he has a shield on a two turn cooldown. And the shield is good for two turns. The value of the shield proportion proportional to this champion's level. So essentially you're getting a pretty decent shield for two turns every two turns. Perfect. Great shield option for you guys, especially again with Doom Tower. That is my list, guys. Not here to waste anybody's time. That's my list of 10 rare champions you don't want to use as food. Hopefully you guys agree with the list. Did I forget one of your favorite champions, Spirit Host? There's a few others that I did not include. Again, no voids, no starters included on today's list. If you want to see a list of my top 10 void rares, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content here, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and as always, take care, guys. We'll